I leave the sponge in the wax a few minutes. Well, it's not a few minutes, but I don't just dip it and pull it out. I leave it there a little bit so the wax can actually sink into the sponge, which is one um, positive benefit of using a sponge. Now, I have to realize that if I push down Womp with this, I'm going to get a really big, well, I didn't. Let me turn up the temperature a little bit here. OK, actually, I'm really glad this happened. Can you see what that looks like? You, can you see that the wax didn't penetrate the fabric? I've been next to workshops where they were working with the wax this way, and it wasn't really working for them. And this is exactly why, so it's great that this happened here. If the wax isn't hot enough to literally go through the fabric and it sits on the surface, then you can see how either dye or paint can come around from behind. And then when you wash out the wax, you won't have a, a print because it didn't really temporarily seal off those fibers. It just sat on the top. So you do, I, I was talking, I turned it down a little bit because I didn't want it to overheat. And in the process of doing that, I actually cooled it off too much. So now I think the temperature's back up and we'll try it again. Yeah. Now, I'm working on a plastic surface. Again, I'm working on this little mat for the sake of the demo. But if you get really interested in this and you want to do a lot of printing, it is worth your while to go to a home supply store and buy a large piece of melamine and put that down as your work surface. Because any wax that goes through onto my work surface, and there's an example of what this looks like. It needs to cool flatter. It'll run. But any wax that goes onto this surface over here can be removed and put back in the pot. 